Hello, hello, hello. Uh, yeah, it's been a while since we put up a video, about a month, I think. Um, so, hi, hello, we have missed you, and I hope everybody's doing great. Uh, yeah, we just wanted to kind of start things back up again here and fill everybody in on what we've kind of been up to uh, the past month, month and a half. Because it's been pretty wild. Sit back, relax, get some popcorn. We'll chat. So yeah, June was really, really crazy for us. Uh, if you follow us on TikTok and Instagram, you might have seen a ton of brand deals. We were really, really, really lucky and fortunate enough to get a lot of brand deals. Um, and so that was kind of our focus for a lot of June, was just like doing all the brand deals. We were so thankful that a lot of brands wanted to work with us. Not only was there Father's Day, but also Pride Month. So it's kind of our sweet spot, I guess. Um, but yeah, the whole brand deal situation, it just really, really helps us. If you saw any of the videos in February-ish on our channel, uh, you might know what we've been going through. Yeah, as far as that stuff goes, I don't really have any updates. Um, yeah, unfortunately, but we still have all of that stuff happening. So yeah, any extra money we can make to help with lawyer fees is great. So yeah, we kind of worked hard in June and a big thank you to anybody that's shown support on the brand deal post that we have done because that just really helps us. And yeah, the brands are happy when we have good engagement on those. Oh, something else we did in June. I think it was, yeah, 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 yeah. It was in June, was the girls got their first vaccine shot, which we have been waiting quite a while for that. We've been waiting a really long time to be able to do that. Just it's for us and our kids, it's what we thought was best for us. Some people don't think that, that's fine. Whatever's best for you and your family, um, but for us, we wanted our kids to be vaccinated. Yeah, so we were really, really excited. The girls did great. And I think their uh, second vaccination shot is coming up. So yeah, it's kind of just a sense of uh, lightness. I suppose that's what I'm doing with my hands. Just because we're gonna feel more comfortable hanging out with others, going places, all that stuff. So we were really excited that we were able to do that and I think I have some footage from that appointment so I'll put that in here. All right, so today is a big day because we are getting the girls vaccinated, vaccinated. finally. Yay. Yay! Are you girls excited? Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. Okay, great. Well, let's go get your shots. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> have you ever seen kids so excited, so excited. to get shots? Yeah. No. No, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh, she's so shy. Huh? Are you excited? And then after we get the shots, what are we going to have? Okay. okay. We're going to make a... Uh, 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 Come Yes, we are. Yeah, come on, Alright, Everest, tell me how you're feeling. Mm, good. Great. Good to get take shots. You're gonna get your shots. Where do you do you want to get your shot? Mm. I want no band-aids. You don't want a band-aid? Oh wow. You're just gonna let the blood ooze out? <laughs> okay. I think you're gonna need a band-aid. You might need a band-aid. <laughs> if only for the, like the tiny bit of blood that comes out. Because yeah. we don't want to get blood anywhere on Yeah, band-aids just stop the bleeding. Yeah. That's all it but does. we can take it off in like Except for when you have a bloody nose, you don't put band-aids on your nose. That'd be kind of weird. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> right? Can you imagine if you had two band-aids just on your nostrils? That'd be so silly. And then I won't smell. Exactly. Yeah, you would just smell band-aid. 
And then you could never talk. Well, yeah, it'd be hard to breathe through your nose. Yeah, all the band on your nose. On a level from 1 to 10, how excited are you? 15. Whoa. 15. You're that excited about getting a shot? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, the girl? Yeah. Can you take a picture of her? Well, she's on the video right now. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Oh, superheroes. Oh, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, and she's gone. I was, no, it's dead. I'm oh, dead. sorry, you were dead. <laughs> wow. So we're gonna spray the Elsa spray, okay? It's a little breezy. Whoa. Whoa. So cold. I was like, I was like uh, ice cube. Right? Oh my goodness, and they're gonna be looking at your daddy, okay? Look at daddy. Hi. Everest, look, Yay. look at me. And all done. And then towards the end of June, it was Julie's birthday. Some of you might know her as our egg donor. She's also our best friend. But uh, yeah, Julie, Aunt Julie, uh, she, I don't know if Julie wants me to say how old she turned. Whatever. Some people are like crazy about their age and no one finding out or something. But she turned a certain age and we went to Vegas to celebrate. And we were lucky enough that Eric's mom actually had a timeshare there. So going there wasn't breaking any banks, which was great. And we were able to just kind of like get away and have an adult vacation because my parents came in, grandpa and grandma came in and they, they spent about five days with the girls. So yeah, that was awesome that they got to hang out with grandpa and grandma a ton because they last saw grandpa and grandma like a, oh, Ugh, triggering. Almost like a year ago, uh, they had visited around August, September, I think, of last year when we were trying to sell a certain house. Oh, and the best thing we did was we, it was my idea. I guess I'm the most like twisted, uh, but I found an escape room based off the Saw movies. And everybody was like, mm, we maybe shouldn't do that one. Julie was like, oh, I found a Rugrats escape room. Granted, I love Rugrats. That was my childhood. Nickelodeon, like, yes, Chucky was my favorite. But, uh, yeah, no, I was like, mm, I want, like, an element of fear when we're doing it. So, sure enough, we did the Saw escape room. And uh, because it was my idea, I was kind of the guinea pig that had to, like, get into the oven, get into the freezer. So we're not allowed to film inside, but we are currently at the Saw Escape Room in Las Vegas. This is the entrance. Are you ready for this? Are you guys <laughs> Anyways, yeah, it was amazing. So much fun. And Julie had some places that she wanted to eat at for food and it was all these vegan restaurants and they turned out to be amazing. But yeah, it was awesome. And it was a really nice, I when, I don't even know the last time Eric and I had a adult trip without the girls. No, we haven't, we never have. Wow, yeah, and there are over four and a half. So yeah, moving on into July. We didn't do much for 4th of July or anything like that. We actually just recently got invited to a Netflix family summer event, which was amazing. And that was one of the things that when we were talking about moving back to California was one of the things that we were hoping would happen. Um, and like wanting to do was like go to events or activities or stuff like that. Because when we lived in Arizona, it, it just didn't feel like there was a lot to do. And then with the whole 
God, there was a lot that happened, like the whole pandemic thing. And then the whole house thing that happened, money issues, all that stuff. It just felt like we couldn't do things with the girls or we didn't have the means to. And now we've been kind of invited to events lately, which has been amazing. Like, so cool. And, oh, and we met Blippy, like the Blippy. I think the touring Blippy. It was awesome. So, so cool. Um, and Gabby's Dollhouse was there. We watched some Kung Fu Panda episodes and the girls made cookies and then they showed them to Blippy. And there was like a bounce house. It was, oh, and then shaved ice. Yeah, it was just a really like awesome afternoon. And we actually have another event coming up. Yeah, we're just like so thankful and appreciative that uh, we've been invited to some stuff. We had Boss Baby back in May, I think, May. We're just really happy that we're able to like take the girls places and do things with the girls because they've been troopers and... Well, they, I guess they don't know any better because it's like their childhood has been basically in a pandemic. So times are crazy. Anyways, but yeah, we have some footage from that Netflix family summer event, which I'll put here.
Yeah, so that's kind of just a summary of what we have been up to the past like month and a half. I think we're all, I, I say we're all, I think Eric and I are in a better headspace now. Um, not that we have any updates as far as our situation goes, but yeah, I think we're just, as, as time goes on, I guess we're having a better idea of how to navigate, navigate life around that situation. Every other day I've been doing kind of like stretching meditation type of stuff outside just to kind of, I don't know, realign my thoughts and start the days limber and refreshed, I guess. Um, yeah. And I think maybe within the next month or two, I might start recording some new music, which I'm really excited about. Um, and then girls school, there's a lot that's about to happen. So it's going to be wild and we are going to try our best and document the journey. Cause it kind of feels like now things are starting it kind of feels like a chapter ended and then a new one has like just been opened this summer. So we'll, we'll see, we'll see what happens, but yeah, that is, I guess, it for today's video. Shout out to everybody that has been chilling, waiting for a new video, uh, and showing us support on TikTok, Instagram. Oh, we have another video coming up on Friday. Look out for that. And hopefully, moving forward, we'll just have more of a regular schedule going as far as like weekly videos go. And I think that's it. I hope you're all doing great. Uh, oh, stream 0524 by McEwen, if you haven't. The album that I released a couple months ago. It's still bops on bops on bops. We'll see you guys Friday for a new video. If, if this is, I'm sorry, it's so weird. We haven't done a video in so long, so I like don't even, I feel so odd talking to the camera doing this. Yeah. Anyways, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, and last thing, Eric just gave me a haircut, so I don't have any more mullet anymore. It was like a mohawk mullet situation. I don't know. So, no more of that. <laughs> Hope you're all doing great. Uh, love you. Okay, bye. Three. <laughs>